All right, we're going to use third person view for this. Here we go. And we are rolling down the side of the ship. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome back to another video today. I am back in Stormworks and we're going to be checking out this absolutely massive car ferry. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Now it's that time of year again, spring has rolled around and unfortunately so have the allergies. And you may notice my voice is going to be a little less enthusiastic today and it may sound a little bit congested and that's why. So yeah, basically I'm just going to try not to lose my voice during this video. And uh, we'll see how it goes. We're going to do a lot of cool stuff today. We're going to first sail this massive ship, and then we're going to sink it. So it should be pretty interesting. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is actually, you know, figure out how this massive ship works. So let's see. Is there like a systems button somewhere? So we got lights. We got monitors. Oh, there we go. All right. Well, I found a main stairwell leading down into the ship. So hopefully this will take us down to the engine room. Usually the stairs going down do, so... Yeah, let's go out this way, or well, we got this way. Oh, hold on. Yep, this looks promising. And it leads out to here, and wow, look at this. This is the car deck. Now, since there's no bulkheads here, it is a little bit concerning because if water got in here, it could easily take down the ship by throwing off the center of gravity, capsizing us, and that would be pretty much it. All right, so here's the engine room. We're going to make our way down and check it out. So here we go. And look at that. We've got the engines on either side. That's pretty cool. But let's go ahead and get stuff started up. You know what? We'll start with the generators first. And there it is. The generators are started. Now let's go with the engines. Engine one and two. And then three and four. All right. So I can hear them starting up there. You can see the engines going. We can actually go down into the engine room. We'll turn on the lights as well. And yep, look at that. This is what's powering the ship. All right, so back up here, it's uh, pretty quiet compared to how it was down below, but it makes sense. We're pretty far away from the engines, and here we go. Let's press W, and we should get moving. And there it is. The ship is on the move. Here on deck eight, we've got a kiosk, or what looks to be maybe a, a food court. We got some seating spaces off to the left with some really cool windows. And then back here, it opens up into... Maybe a disco. We've got a stage up top. We got speakers. We got a really nice skylight. Over here, we've got the lifeboats, so that's pretty cool. There's some stairs leading up to where you would get into the lifeboats. And we got a pretty cool view of the funnel up there. Going forward of there, we've got another seating area, maybe a dining area, and there is a bar or maybe another food court. Not exactly sure. It is a little sparsely decorated, but it makes sense because. It is a very large build. You know, you can't have too much detail with something like this because if you do, it's going to lag a lot. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. There's a couple of other spaces, I believe, but I'll leave that up to you guys to explore. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and sink the ship. And all it takes is just to press this big red button right on the ceiling. So in three, two, one. And there we go. So far, there's nothing really interesting going on. Looks like everything is just uh, as normal. You know what? Let's go ahead and stop the ship. All right, so with the ship being stopped, you can clearly tell something's going on. It looked like that forward motion was actually keeping the bow of the ship above water. Now with it stopped, it's going down, and it's actually starting to tilt over to the right, which might mean a capsize is imminent. Let's start with these ones on this side. So it looks like it lifts it up. And then swings it out, which is an interesting move there, but it works. And we'll make sure to go ahead and close this uh, door before we drop anything, because we don't want to start sinking when we drop into the water. But here we go. And we've released. And there we go. We are in the water. Perfect. And what's cool is, if I want to go outside, I can. Well, I can try. But yeah, I can get a view like this. You can see the ship going down. We've got water flooding up to the windows there. Now we tried an easy deployment. Let's try a slightly difficult one because now we're on the side of the ship that's sort of angling away from the water, which means lowering these might be somewhat of a disaster compared to the other one. All right, we're gonna use third person view for this. Here we go. And we are rolling down the side of the ship. Oh my gosh, there we go. Inside the ship, it is a total disaster. I would imagine if these chairs and tables weren't anchored down, they'd be flying across the room and 
yeah, it just wouldn't be good. All right, these stairs are so difficult to navigate. It's like at any moment I could fall and yep, there I go. Okay, this is very interesting. The ship is leveling out. Yeah, let me go back to the helm here and I'll show you. Oh my gosh, yeah, look at that. It's really just rolling back over. So yeah, that was really interesting. As the ship had filled with water, it rolled over to one side. And then when the entire bottom of the ship filled with water, it then rolled back out to sort of an even keel. However, it was really low in the water. And now it's going down by the stern. So I'm not sure if that's how the creator intended it to sink, but whatever it was, it was pretty interesting to see. All right, so I think this is the last time we're going to see the bridge above water. I'm going to shut everything down. There's no point in it now. And uh, yeah, it's going and going fast. If we go down this way, you can see the water is rapidly approaching and the angle is continuing to increase as the stern of the ship is either filling with water or the water is moving towards the stern, thus lifting the front of the ship up. So uh, yeah, here we go. I'm just going to go ahead and make a pretty dramatic exit here as I attempt to jump over the railing. And there we go. And with a big splash, we are in the water. So let's go ahead and swim away. All right, so it's been a couple of minutes and the ship is sinking very slowly. So I think I have a solution that might make it sink just a little bit faster. All right, so I'm going to need to step back for this one because, uh, well, you'll see. All right, there we go. Um, it looks like, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it, folks. So uh, if you want to dispose of a very large ship practically instantaneously, I would say this is the way to go. You might cause a little bit of extra damage you didn't mean to do, you know, a tsunami here and there. But it will get rid of the ship, so I guess that's uh, part of the positive there. No way. The ship survived. However, it took a little bit of damage, but there's a massive tsunami around it now. Well then, folks, I think I'm going to call that a video there. If you want to check out this build, a link will be in the description. And if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you all next time, guys. Goodbye.